My next guest are two lovely gals. They're identical twins, and they star in NBC's new comedy series called Double Trouble, which has its premiere on April the 4th. Would you welcome, please, Liz and Jean Segal. Yeah. Come back here, girls. Don't get, mixed, don't get mixed up with those guys. We were just rocking out back there. Yeah, you guys are great. Now, you didn't do a trick on me. I met, are you, are you Liz or Jean? I'm Jean, and that's You're Liz. Jean. Oh, yeah. Did I meet you backstage beforehand? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but we planned to switch clothes and switch seats yes. during the commercial. That's been done before. I said, you're going to put me on and change clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. How old are you, gals? 22. 22. I yeah. Identical twins. Well... Yeah, uh, we're, we're mirror twins. Yeah. So that's what they call mirror that's twins? That's as identical as you can get. So. Yeah, it's kind of strange sitting here looking at you. Oh, well, yeah, see, people have a, they have a hard time interviewing us sometimes. Yeah, people they get, get real nervous. They get very nervous and they start asking really silly questions. Oh, I'm, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> how long have we been twins? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And um, how do we tell each other apart? It's question that's five. great. That's well, right. well, I'm not going to lower myself by answering okay. some dumb okay. question like that. Okay. Yeah. You're not the type. No way. <laughs> Is this, you start to answer for each other sometimes. Have you ever, yeah, have you we, noticed that in conversation? One, we'll... See, one of you will pick up and the other is, is on the same answer. Mm -hmm. Well, because we're together so much now, and you know, when we're doing these interviews and stuff, so now you know, one will start the sentence, the other one will finish it. You know, when you spend a lot of time with someone, that happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? There was a survey made once on, on identical twins. I think it was the University of Minnesota. And they found out that very often, when you're not together, you can actually know, has that ever happened, what the other person is thinking, or something will happen? No, no. Or is that a myth? Uh-uh. A lot of, I mean, a lot of times, uh, when, I'm, when I'm with her, I'll know, you know, she's in a bad mood or whatever, without even talking to her. Right. But when we're apart, you know, no. Yeah. Also, when someone asks us a question, it's directed to both of us. So we're, like, raring to answer, yeah. so that's usually yeah, what you, happens. Now, you're Jean. Uh-huh. You okay, got it. and you're Liz. Uh-huh. I was just going to say, how long have you been identified? <laughs> <laughs> But unlike a lot of twins, I understand you, you make no great effort to, to look alike all the time. I mean, no, not, not before the show. In fact, it took them like three weeks to get us to look alike. Really? We, were just, we just hadn't spent a whole lot of time together. And we One is full figured. And um, <laughs> I lived in New York for a while. And yeah. Does that have something to do with well, being no, no, full no, figured? I, no, I can't. No, I don't know. I don't know why she wrote that. Let's, let's follow, let's follow no, up on that. One, one She's full heavier. figured and you're not? No, I'm not going to put the point on any of us. So yeah. one of us was heavier. The other one had shorter hair and we had to, we had to, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I, see, I moved to New York and I like cut off all my hair and, you know. So now you had to get to back good. to looking together. Yeah. What's that? Mm -hmm. Is that the, uh, I don't know. the new piano starting up? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> we also got a generator with that. Uh, we'll take a break. We're going to come back and follow Thank up with some more of this. Stay with you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Liz, right? Jean. Yes. I get you mixed up already. Oh, Does no. that happen frequently? Does well, it bother you at all? No, because cause actually, I'm a little cuter, but, but that's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Was it's... there a great competition when you were growing up as, as twins? Was there a great competition? No, because no, we had real smart parents. They, they always sent us to separate schools. and Is that we right? always We always, yeah, went to different schools. We had yeah. very different social lives. She yeah. lived in New York for a couple of years, too. What were you doing then? Uh, I was studying dance. I was very, I was very seriously into studying, and I spent two years on a dance scholarship at Dupre Dance Academy, yeah. and and that's what my goal in life was yeah. was to just do that. What were you doing then? I took off to the Orient and the Philippines. I worked All as a yourself? dancer. No, I went with a dance company, ah. and uh, we worked down in Mexico. So I just traveled a lot. I never had the discipline that she had to sit down and study. I would work and then study and then work, and then I went up in New York mm -hmm. and lived there. Which for one a while. of you worked as a cocktail waitress? I worked as a cocktail waitress in a rock and roll club, and I was the worst. I was the worst. I, all my tips went to dry cleaning bills. I was always filling drinks. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just couldn't she, get the hang of it. Twelve drinks on one tray? Yeah. And it just wasn't strong enough. It's not easy. What did you she do? She called me. Um, I was actually answering her, her, her frantic phone calls from oh, New York. I, she moved to, uh, where was it? I did the dumbest thing. I knew nothing about New York when I moved there. And uh, I wanted to be right near Broadway. So I got an apartment the first day I looked, and everyone, you know, said, great. I moved right into Hell's Kitchen. You didn't 40, know? No, I, I didn't know. I just, you know, I thought, oh, this is great. So I, I lived on 43rd between 9th and 10th. Mm, nice. I know. And she called me up, and, and she, was, she said, I am crawling over bombs to get to my door. Oh, no, so, but crazy. she moved fast. Yeah, I, I moved up to West 80th between Amsterdam and Columbus, which is real nice. It was yeah. great. 
So, mm -hmm. your show premieres on... April 4th. April the 4th. Wednesday night at 9.30. Geese get paid the same on the show? Hmm? <laughs> yes, yes. Hmm? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Do you have the same agent? Huh? No, she didn't even have an agent when we got it. Yeah. Really? We just yeah, yeah, we just um we, we knew the casting lady Eve Branstein and she brought us and she knew us working separately and she never knew us as twins. And you know, so we just went in and right. you know and did it. I wish you luck on the show. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Talking in stereo. Okay, how much time do we have, Frederick? Do either one of you gals married yet? No, not Please. yet. Please, you said. No. You don't enter, you don't look uh, kindly on that not right now? Not the domestic one, no. Uh -uh. Really? No. Me, I think I'd like to settle down. You know, yeah, but not... She's much more maternal than I am. She's just raring to have kids. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you got plenty of time for that. Uh -huh. Plenty of time for that. Going with anybody currently? Mm -hmm. that... Yeah, I've seen someone. Oh, it's okay. Nothing yeah. personal. <laughs> <laughs> Jean?